Hey friends, welcome back to our channel, or if you're new here, my name is Garrett. I'm Alyssa. And we are the Leffersons, and today, on this overcast day, we are headed to Magic, Magic Kingdom. Kingdom. So first things first, when we get there, what are we doing? I we have... I wonder if people can guess. We have breakfast reservations at Crystal Palace. It is located right off of Main Street, and they do a character dining, where you can meet all the Hundred Acre Wood characters. So Pooh, Piglet, Eeyore, and Tigger. Yeah. So we're going to do that first. And it is our little guy's first trip to Disney. Let's actually see his face. Oh. There we go. Are you excited to go to Magic Kingdom? We're going to meet Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. Who? <laughs> so let's go to Magic Kingdom. Ready to take it to them? Set. Thank, Thank you. you. We made it to the Magic Kingdom. There's a ton of people here. I have a feel like, like all the dance teams are here today. Yeah, it's like dance team day. <laughs> James is snoozing. We have to go make our Crystal Palace reservation. Because we're kind of late. So let's go do that. But in case if you're wondering, if you are ever late to a dining reservation, you can technically arrive up to 15 minutes late and, and they will still take early. you. And 15 minutes early. Yeah. No, no guarantee on the getting That's in. also for like Lightning Lane, Genie Plus. I keep wanting to say Fast Pass, but that's not a thing anymore. But... <laughs> You know, just get the line. You can arrive, I think, five minutes early and then 15 minutes late. So, there you go. There she is. And there she is. Big girl. <laughs> it's a busy morning here at the Magic Kingdom. But we're here for it. Main Street's right back that way. And if you go this way, Crystal Palace is right here. So, let's check in. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Piglet's right there. We are just sitting in this little corner area. They do let you bring your stroller in if your baby is sleeping. James is still taking a nap, so that's why the stroller's in here. We're waiting for our drinks to come. I will go show you all the food options. Hi, it's so nice to see you. I haven't seen you in so long. We came here like before COVID, you know, but it's just been so long since I've been able to meet you here. And now we have a little baby, but he's sleeping right now. So like, what do we do? I don't know. <laughs> Can you meet Piglet for just a second? Oh my goodness. Is he a Piglet? <laughs> I'm still half asleep. Thank you so much, Piglet. <laughs> so for the breakfast buffet, this is the kids' options. You've got blackberry streusel cake, a signature breakfast lasagna, churro waffles, which are amazing. There's some bagels and toast over there. Over here we've got more waffles and pancakes and puffy French toast. Then we've got some pastries. There's some fruit and stuff down there. And then over here, some of their more interesting things. They have traditional roast beef hash. They've got two different frittatas. They have a Denver frittata and a, well, that's the Mediterranean, Mediterranean frittata and a Denver frittata. These eggs, some cheesy potato casserole, which is delicious. There's biscuits and sausage gravy, which was also really good. There's some grits and shrimp. And then down here you have bacon and sausage. There's some fun pancakes over there. And there's also an omelet bar. So to start, I got some bacon, eggs, some hash brown casserole, biscuits and gravy. There's a cinnamon roll under there. And James is just gonna watch me eat, right? So I finally got my turn to go around. And I got, so I got the churro Mickey waffle, the puffed French toast, which mm. I know from experience is amazing. Uh, I got the Denver frittata, some sausage, some fruit, drinks, drinks, baby, wife, let's eat. Yes. I saw you coming on my phone. I know, I know. It's over there. <laughs> it's a baby. Tigger gets the best selfies. <laughs> you're, you're bouncing. You can't stop I love bouncing. It. Bouncy, 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 bounce. bouncy, bouncy. What's going on? <laughs> Thank you so, so much, nice Tigger. So nice to meet you, Thank Tigger. You. <laughs> Same to you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Say bye. Do you like Winnie the Pooh? It's like not sure what to think. It's like, oh, my stuffed animal is large. <laughs> 
Oh, he's grabbing onto it. His, his nursery <laughs> is all of you yes. and your friends. Yes. He's he a big fan. You. He loves, he loves you. you. <laughs> Thanks, Pooh. <laughs> Thank you, Pooh. <laughs> Breakfast was had. Delicious. Um, We've met churro, all the characters. Yes, the churro uh, waffle was amazing. Breakfast potato casserole was amazing. Oh, yeah. The coffee, like, streusel cake was really good. I feel like overall that's one of my favorite breakfast oh, yeah. like, buffets, for sure. So, we are now in Frontierland because Festival of Fantasy Parade is going to start soon. And then we have a few lightning lanes to do. So, yeah. let's do it. Jungle Cruise is next. It's actually only a 15 minute wait, but we have lightning lanes, so we're gonna use that. watching our channel at all, you know you know, we had to get an orange cream float. This is from Sunshine Tree Terrace in Adventureland. Highly recommend mobile ordering. You can mobile order this too. There's a long line right now and I mobile ordered it and it was ready in like two minutes. So highly recommend, it's delicious. And it's like a little warm right now, so we figured it was the perfect time to get this. It's 69. It feels warmer than that though, doesn't it? Okay, let's eat this. It is time for the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. It's a 35 minute wait, but we've got a lightning lane, so we're gonna use it. James is super excited for this ride. He is just wide awake moving. and ready to watch it. <laughs> it's okay, he's sleeping. It's all right. Going at Winnie the Pooh. If you ask me, he'll never reach that tree. What's going on? Where are we? He's waking up and he's like, what oh. world am I in? We are now just hanging out, right James? With your first visit button. We were just admiring the uh, beautiful castle right here and took a few pictures, but he's pretty uninterested right now. <laughs> As he's yawning. <laughs> What's going on, huh? Are we at Disney? So it's going on about 1.30 here. It's getting kind of hot. I think we all need a little bit of a break. So we're gonna go maybe take a few more pictures with James and then go through the Emporium, then head back to the hotel for a little bit of siesta, maybe some pool, I don't know. 
Maybe we meet up some, with some friends. It's a beautiful day here at the park. The castle is just absolutely gleaming. My wife is absolutely glowing. It might be sweat, who knows. But we're gonna shop a little bit and then cool off. I'm hot. We're used to like two degree, not whatever it is right now. Checking out the Emporium for a little bit. I do love this backpack right here, super cute. Of course, we're gonna go back and look at the baby section because we have a baby. They don't really have a lot of boy stuff. They got this little t-shirt, and then they have it in gray or blue. I think this Dumbo sweatshirt's really adorable. And also this one, I really, really like this one, but I think I'm gonna get it in the Disneyland version. It's so cute though. Garrett likes these ears. They're adorable. If I had ears, I'd wear. If I wore ears, I'd wear. I have ears. <laughs> There's new emos, obviously. I feel like does anyone get new emos anymore? Aren't they like a blast from the past? Like no. Um, they're not a thing anymore. <laughs> this middle room is all 50th anniversary stuff, which will be ending at the end of March. Yeah, they like came out with like an ending collection. So this all this stuff is like the last of the 50th collection. So this is pretty cute. It's a hoodie with the last of the collection. Got a spirit jersey. We got a little mug tumbler guy. Of course they have walls of mugs. Lots and lots of mugs. And lots of home decor. I always love this one. It's like low-key Disney. Mm -hmm. Super cute. And then this section is all for the 100th anniversary of Disney, the 100 Years of Wonder. I like that long sleeve. Mm. Like, I'm wondering if we should get the onesie for little guy, because he was here during the 100 Years of Wonder. Should we do it? I don't know. How cute is that? The most magical cavalcade's coming! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Aww. Was that fun? <laughs> Where are we, Garrett? Uh, we're back at the Beach Club. Yes. It which is, is where we're staying. <laughs> about 2.30. Oh, yeah. Um, so we had to wait for the bus for maybe, I don't know, 15 minutes. Yeah. That wasn't too bad. It actually kind of worked out because he was really hungry, so I just fed him while we waited. And now we're back at the beach club. We want to, well, little man has to take a nap, but I also really want to go to the pool, so. I think big man might need a nap, too. <laughs> so we will see. We are meeting up with some friends um, for a few hours, but Magic Kingdom is open until 11 o'clock tonight. So we are hoping to do a lot more tonight. And we're back. We're back. We did not swim. No, we did not. We just hung out with friends, which yeah. is nice. Um, and so it is now 6.35. Yeah. And the park closes at 11. Yeah. So we have quite a bit of time. So we're trying to keep... We're, let, we're letting little man nap. Hopefully he will be awake in a little bit. We're hoping he gets a good nap in right now. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, our plan, where are we going right now? We have a lightning lane for Peter Pan's flight. Okay. That's so we're, first stop. All right. So we're going to Peter Pan's flight. Alyssa's wearing James. I'm pushing the stroller. The sky looks really pretty behind me. Now, if you are new to us, um, I think it is goes without saying that the parks at night are our favorite. So hopefully we can uh, show you a little bit of that tonight and just come along with us and chill at Magic Kingdom. So in typical fashion, we say we're gonna do one thing and then we're like, oh, we should probably eat food. So Alyssa just mobile ordered at Casey's Corner, which is, if you didn't know, on the corner of Main Street. When you mobile order, make sure that you pay attention to the windows, especially during busy times like lunch and dinner. Uh, you may try and be like, oh, let's order lunch, but the next window isn't for like another hour and a half. 
So be mindful of that when you mobile order. There's kind of a, there is a learning curve to it. We had a little bit of beacons of magic right there, but yeah. I was just telling Garrett it would not be a Disney trip if we did not eat on a trash can at some point. So we are at the top of Main Street, so there's Casey's Corner, and we are just kind of next to the grass here uh, because there was no seating at all in Casey's Corner. So here we are with our Diet Coke, fries, and finally, honey? Corn dog nuggets. I was not able to eat these while I was pregnant but I'm excited to be eating them now. <laughs> it was a snake bite yesterday. Uh-huh. The, yeah. Uh, Corn dog nuggets today. <laughs> and it's, it's a, a, it's a steamy night. It's a little steamy, yeah, I'm surprised. It's a little steamy. Uh, so we're gonna eat and then go on Peter Pan's flight and little man is still asleep. So things are trending up. It's time for Peter Pan's flight. Let's go. That's what he says, right? Oh, here we go. Dang it. Uh. Here we go. I'm, I let you guys down. James is so uh, he's asleep. I feel like this is a good ride for him to sleep on though, because it's kind of dark. I just don't know if he'd really be able to see much. Yeah, because babies are blind. <laughs> no, I read it on the like, internet. <laughs> I'd rather him be awake for like small world things like that. I love that you look at me over the camera, because the camera's at eye I'm level. Like talking, I'm talking to you guys, but I'm also talking. To it you. looks like you're rolling your eyes. <laughs> you're like. Well, she does roll her eyes at me a lot. It's time to get spooky. Alyssa's mad at me because I, I forgot the Osmo and the stroller. That's the problem with the stroller, is it's so easy to forget things. Do you want to become the, uh, th the, the last haunt? The 999 months. What, you want to be the 1,000th? There is room for one more. Are you volunteering? I knew. Hey there. So we got off Haunted Mansion. I have not booked another lightning lane, though it's really not that busy tonight. There's like really low waits for everything. Yeah. So I'm gonna wait to book a lightning lane until we're ready to ride something again. Um, but basically, Enchantment is at 8.15. It's currently 7.50. So we've got about 25 minutes. Everything five minutes. I know, everything's like a walk-on right now. So. Uh, Big Thunder's 15. Yeah, so that's crazy. Haunted Mansion 25, the longest of seven floors at 40 minutes. Wow. Because everybody's going out to the front of the floor. Okay, so um, we're gonna start heading to watch the fireworks. Maybe we'll stop through the Christmas shop real quick. We've been trying to do a little bit of pin trading. Sorry, we haven't showed you that, but I've been kind of failing at pin trading, so I figured while he was sleeping, we would do a little bit of that. So let's see if there's a pin board in here. Otherwise, we'll go find a spot for enchantment.
Does Tomorrowland seem extra loud right now? What? <laughs> okay, so we are walking into Tomorrowland. I just gotta tell you guys, so obviously we just finished watching Enchantment, as you saw. And I felt like superhero mom because James had literally just woke up from his nap right before the show. And I was like, oh my gosh, this child's gonna be hungry because he hasn't eaten in like three hours. And sure enough, a few minutes in, he started fussy. So he was sucking on my thumb for a little bit. And then he just got to the point of like, no, I'm not having this. So I just, just started nursing him right there. <laughs> It was, it was a... Also, uh, like, holding him with only one arm and then trying to, like... It was, like, a super mom moment. Anyways, so, that's, what, that's what happened. Uh, so, I need to go to the bathroom <laughs> because I've been carrying him for the last, like, three hours. Someone is awake yeah. and happy now. <laughs> Who's happy? He's smelling the cars, and he's like, why are those cars still here? <laughs> We're all wondering, honey. We're all wondering. What are we going to go ride? Are we going to go on Dumbo? Huh? We're riding Tron. Surprise. Yeah, Tron. <laughs> we are heading into Storybook Circus. And we are going to go ride Dumbo. It's a walk-on. We're going to go on that, buddy. Are you excited? Huh? He can't stop looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be even crazier when we actually go on it. We're seated. Time for Dumbo. He like couldn't stop looking at it. <laughs> now that we're on it, I don't know if he understands what's happening. But it's gonna he be doesn't great. understand anything. He's an idiot. Very true. This is all exposed. Everything's new. <laughs> we. I think it's James approved. That. <laughs> wow! Bounce. Bounce. Where did you Bounce. see? <laughs> Where did he go? Is that fun? Look at his face. Uh... <laughs> He's like, I don't know what just happened. Five minute wait for Little Mermaid. What's the best thing about being here after fireworks, Garrett? Uh, it's nighttime and everybody's gone. <laughs> so everything is literally a walk on right now. We did purchase Genie Plus today, which we used earlier. Like I'm, we we did a few things. But when you're here after the fireworks, I mean, you don't even need Genie Plus. Everything is a walk on and it's awesome. Now we're on Little Mermaid. Yeah, let's do this. You know Ariel, the mermaid. Ah, what a voice! What a beautiful voice! So, I'm not sure if he enjoyed Little Mermaid. He tried to eat my hand the entire time. But uh, he was definitely looking around. He liked going underwater. So, we are now making our way over to It's a Small World because he's awake. And we kind of want to try and jam as much in as we can while he's awake. And then we'll kind of do mommy and daddy stuff after. But I'll say it again, the park's after dark are my favorite because everything's just glowing. So let's head to Fantasyland. better than mama's phone <laughs> he always looks at my phone and he's like what is nope. this thing and he like he's like always stops. concerned fun fact that's don quixote Yeah. <laughs> 
He's looking at, look at himself. <laughs> is it a baby? Is look it at, James? Look at that handsome baby. Why is it so small? <laughs> Singing along? <laughs> Who is that? Who is that? Is it James? <laughs> <laughs> we're currently stuck in the queue to like get off the boats. So we're just trying to occupy them. Like we're just now getting to the like adios room. Alright, it's about 9.50. The park doesn't close until 11. Here's our game plan. We are going to try to make it to People Mover without James totally fussing. And then I'm going to actually feed him on the people mover and he will probably be out for the night. So, and then we'll kind of have the last hour to do what we want to do. Maybe do writer swap for Space Mountain. That's the plan. Going on the people mover. James is changed and in his PJs. I'm gonna feed him and get him to sleep on here. And we can still go on the people mover, so it all works. The absolute best way to see Tomorrowland. And my stars, is there ever lots to see? Just like the old days, it's like 1025 at night. We're like, we're hungry. There's only like three places open. Casey's Corner, uh, Sleepy Hollow, and uh, Cosmic Rays. So here we are, as always, at Cosmic Rays. Also, the ice cream shop was open. The oh. AT, what's it called? The ice cream shop next to Star Traders, that's what I call yeah, it. Yeah, it's in Tomorrowland. I don't remember what it's called. So we are splitting some uh, gourmet chicken strips. They give you a lot though. Sunny is not playing and uh, Little Bug over here is passed out. Alyssa's trying to eat her ice cream before it uh, melts. Mm -hmm. well, we're going to eat and gather a little bit of energy to push through the front of the park. All right, James. Say goodbye to Magic Kingdom. <laughs> Just kidding. He's snoozing. But there's the castle in all her glory. And this is going to be the last time we see the 50th castle. Be interested to see what they do with it after the 50th, 50th is over. But I think, uh, should we close out of this vloggy vlog? Yeah, we're going to wander on back to the, uh, to the bus yeah. <laughs> and uh, go to sleep. Yeah, sleepy time. Tomorrow we're going to Animal Kingdom, which is my favorite park. Yes, so stay tuned for the next vlog. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, subscribe for more Disney content, and we will see you all real soon. Bye, guys. See you later.